Welcome to another Enjoying Art Watercolor lesson. I'm going to start with some sketches with my watercolor brush. Okay. I always like to simplify it and don't have to do all the work at the beginning. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to think about is where I'm going to put the cow. How much room leave it for the background. So I'm going to put it over here. This is the top. This is the bottom of the chin of the cow. And I'm going to take a look at that. I probably can even make it a little bit bigger. But I'm going to move it a little bit more toward the left. Maybe a little, slightly a little bit. So now I'm going to put just put a little shape up over there. You may not really see it, but that's a simple shape. When I'm looking at the top and the bottom, I'm looking at this angle. Okay, I'm making sure the angle will support. And because the color is so light uh, with the water, and it won't actually uh, distracting when I'm painting. Okay, like that, the horn would come up over here, like that. It's okay. And the ear will be over here. Now looking at the bigger area. And here you go. And that's the nose. And I'm looking for, this is the face coming over here, right? This is the round shape. And here you go. That's top of the nose, the eye coming over here. And look at that, the top. Oh, the wrong place. Okay, that means I, if I'm going to keep that, the top over here, and I have to have the eye come out a little bit. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker. And come out a little bit right here. And then from here, that nose is coming this way. Now, see, that's important. And no worry, you can use the water actually to clean up uh, the mark that you don't want to keep. That should be very easy. You see that? You just put the water over there and clean it. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, that's good. And like this. The water is the eraser. Okay, now I'm going to come in here, take a look at the back, and from the horn over here, I'm going to look at across the ear and coming down this way and then up a little bit have a little bit lighter so I'm gonna make this a little bit more clear and leave a little light shape okay that that's good and the neck over here and coming up here and then see that if I extend the neck over here all the way extend it with this angle you can see that hit the eye right so this is good so you can see extend the line you can find uh, how things connected. Okay, now this. So it require you to look at a uh, bigger, in a bigger relationship. Okay, don't look at just the small area. And have that, this is good. I'm gonna extend the, uh, the neck of the cow. So, because it looks like you need a little bit more space extended over here. Yeah, I grew up with the cow so I know how they look like. It's supposed to be simple, simple form. Okay, now, now I'm gonna take a look at from here, coming up, if the ear would be here. Okay, take a look at that. And if you need to use the pencil to draw, please use the pencil to draw. Whenever you feel like I want to take the risk, and you can just draw with the watercolor. I, Guarantee you don't have any trouble. And if you just use the very light color, it should be okay. I'm gonna give a little bit color into the horn over here. I'm gonna have a little bit like that and coming over. I can make the horn a little bit bigger if you want, okay? And on this side, look at the angle going from here, coming toward and coming onto this side. That's good. Okay, and then, and the ear, this ear can be a little bit softer, okay. You don't have to make it so hard, this ear, okay, like that, that's good. Okay, I can make it a little bit lighter if I want to. Okay, this is great. I don't have to think about the eye right now because I paint the eye a little bit way, way later, right? So no need to think about that. Now, the background would be very soft. I'm going to even remove these two cows. This, to keep it a little bit simple. So, what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna figure it out. What is the skin tone for the cow? And imagining the background would be a darker color of the green gray color. Okay. Now I'm gonna just mix it. I'm gonna try to only use the three primary colors: the red. All right. Here you go. Now. The brown color is closest to the red and the yellow, and you can think about the brown color just the darker version of the uh, orange color, and it just have a little bit blue into it to make it a little bit neutral. That's just good. Now I'm gonna try it. You see that? How simple. Ooh, I think that color. I want to keep it like that. Okay, maybe a little bit blue because still a little bit too warm. I'm gonna put it like that. That's good. I'm gonna put this color here, and just add a little water on the top over here, make it a little bit softer. Okay, and coming over here, and I'm gonna paint it around the outside of the ear. Okay, that's good, like that. And I'm gonna looking at how get a little bit more yellow because this have a little bit more yellow in here. It's a little bit too much red. And here you go, like that. That's good. I'm gonna looking at it and to see if it need to be darker. I think it's need to be darker. But um, I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color. Just get a little bit more blue, have a little bit more gray. There you go. And you can put that a little bit more over here and have that light color over here too. Like that. That's good. I'm gonna have this a little bit gray color going into the face, okay? Yeah, almost like a gray. Now I'm gonna looking for what? I'm looking for the color on the top of the nose right here and painting around. And all you need to look for is where is the shape of the light shape over there. That's good. I'm gonna keep that shape. And everything in here is not white. It can be a little bit darker, right? Coming up over here like that. I don't have to paint all the details. Okay, no need to. Uh, pressure yourself, right? I'm gonna have that a little bit Just use the corner like that. I'm gonna keep the uh, The area above the eye around the eye a little bit lighter now I'm gonna looking at is I have a little bit more blue now I'm gonna just have a little bit more blue coming over here and you see this is going to be have catch the shadow on top, but I'm going to just paint uh, the lighter shape for the skin tone before the cast shadow, okay? So I'll come back to paint that a little bit later. Now I'm gonna just use this. Take a look at the shape and this coming down a little bit. And in fact, the shadow area is gonna be darker. So this is only for figuring out how dark the overall color would be, right? It's very simple. Then top over here, I just uh, let go the color on the brush and just use the water to soften it. And coming up over here like that, and a little bit softer. That's is fine. I'm gonna have a little bit softer over here too. Just use the corner of this brush, and this is fine. This is great. And now I already figured it out how dark the color would be. And since we're waiting for the area to dry. I, why don't I just also put a little dark color under the nose and some area like that. I'm going to let go that little color over here like this and also go into, it's okay after it dry, I can soften this and make it a little bit lighter. All right. All right. I'm going to add a little bit darker color. What dark color it would be. It's still dark brown color, but it's going to be have the blue color and the red and get a little bit more red. Okay, this is too dark. I'm gonna get it out over here. So a little bit more water, right? I'm gonna have a little bit yellow. Here you go. Now get it, make it a little bit more brownish color. So I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna take a look and make it a little bit lighter. Here you go, like that. A little bit more yellow. Here you go, that's good. Now I'm gonna actually put the color in here. See that? That's good. Just put the darker color in here. And not 
too much details just focusing on this the dark color and also put this that's the nose okay after the summer program the participant members expecting to have a better relating the color and the space okay and have you got I'm gonna have the water just go through here I'm gonna leave the highlight see that I'm gonna leave the the light color without using the you know the the white paint you go. that's good like that and I'm going to have the color coming down over here I don't have to come all the way down because the color changed right this is good and I may also have a little bit darker color over here get a little bit yellow and into here now looking for that composition of the three colors how much I should put into each of the area like over here this is good I'm gonna have this whole area we talk about yeah, actually a little bit darker right I'm gonna have that whole area here that's good like that and it's still wet so I'm gonna just soften that have the color coming down a little bit and the color coming down over here okay this is good and and the ear we can also put a little bit color but I'm gonna hold on it I want to have this color continue from here all the way coming down to the ear okay the ear could be different color though okay so this is almost dry it's still wet so all right now at this point I'm gonna start painting the outside now I see that the Roughly, what is the color? There's still lots of things I'm gonna paint in here. The shadow color will be darker, right? But the, the, the middle tone of the cow, I already know, right? That's important. So this is gonna give us a lot better mind preparations, how dark the background we want it to be, and I'll try to limit how many times that we have to work into it. I just took a lot of yellow color from here, and that's just good. Oh, too much yellow. Okay, I have to make sure the yellow paint is very, very smooth and mixing into the color. I don't want to have look like a toothpaste, right? You don't want to do that. Okay, now looking at this color, it has blue and has red. I'm going to get it over here. It will look like a little bit gray and I get a little bit. Um, the blue from the edge over here you see that this is put it put it dark and then how dark how dark that would be I'm gonna start this I'm gonna start this dark color but I'm gonna have a little bit more water okay get a little bit more pigment get a little bit more blue in here and get a little bit more red because I don't want it to be too bright I'm gonna start from the really dark corner right here okay here you go you see like that I'm going to start over here and then I'm going to start painting around the white space okay here you go now this is good now this is very dark color I like that I'm going to add even darker at the corner over here just tap some blue color in here and let it softly expand like that okay that's good that's very good like that and on the other area, I'm not going to have a too dark the, over here. I don't want to have too dark. Now I'm going to get a little bit more uh, water and mix it into here. Now this color a little bit more gray. You see that? And I'm going to get a little bit more. Now here you go. Get more water. Get more yellow. Mix the right color. I'm going to start from the, bot, the top over here. Now take a look at the shape around and I'm gonna have this as yes, that's good make sure it's wet enough and look at the horn I think that's is the right place I'm gonna just look at the corner look at the side the edge of the of the brush okay coming up over here here you go like that that's good coming around over here and coming over here okay that's good I'm gonna extend the wet and coming over here, I'm gonna come down a little bit. Okay, here you go. 
like that. Here you go. That's good. Look for that. And you don't have to. That's good. Going around. And the tip over here. Have a little bit uh, lighter color. Now here we go. Now I'm going to come in over here. And a little bit narrower. Here we go. And coming around. That's good. And just use the corner of this brush. Push the little color in. That's good. Now I'm going to come around the ear. And here we go. Like this coming down. This is good. I almost take care of this. I'm going to go to the other side. Okay, here we go. Like, that's good. Right. Simple. And the front over here can be a little bit lighter. So the background is is to support the main object. It's not to fight the tension. Okay. There you go. Like that. Pretty good. So if you have the background too flat, it may be make it the whole painting look boring. Right. So you have to be somehow to making the decision. I'm gonna have here, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter as well, like that. And I think the background is actually help a lot to making the the main area a little bit more, which is the the cow is pop up a little bit more. Now this is pretty good. I like that already. And the top over here, I'm going to lift something up. I don't want the color accumulate at the bottom over here to make it so dark. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to have this also come down a little bit and have a little bit, little bit sharper corner right here. Okay, here we go. Just tap, tap, tap. Have a little bit sharper corner. That's good. That's good. All right, and the bottom over here. Now I'm going to leave up the excess thing at the bottom. I have to be have make sure there is not no wet paint coming back to the top. Okay, what's the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to apply some uh, water uh, texture, which is you already see me doing that very often in the past. Now I'm going to just put my fingers into the water. I'm going to take some water over here and then I'm going to do some splash. That make it look much softer in the background. I also look like, oh, there's some, some grasses. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more. A little bit more. That's good. Why it's not affecting over here? Because that technique doesn't affect anything already you drive. Right? That is the timing what we're talking about okay this is good i'm going to keep that let that getting dry and meanwhile i'm going to keep lifting the accumulate because i have the paper about like a 10 degree coming down so it's the excess water always coming down to the bottom after you have the background you can see look back to here now you can see that is oh it's just not dark enough you think you thought it was dark enough right but this is not dark enough. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the red and the blue color together. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to make this a little bit even. Okay, this is good. There's two color together. And now I'm going to have the overlay wash on top of this. And here you go. I'm going to take a look at this color. Ooh, much better. You may be thinking, oh, wait, 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 too dark. Okay. Trust me, it's just fine. Okay, like that. Have a little bit on the top over here. Soften that. That's good. And the top over here can be a little bit lighter, softer. Okay, coming over here. That's the second round, and it always make it much, much more accurate. Now I'm gonna have a little bit yellow color. And because it look a little bit orange, okay, uh, and close to the neck. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna have this, this, something like that, coming to the jaw area. That's good. Here we go. That's good. Okay, that's 
very good, successful. I'm gonna just clean the brush with water and I'm gonna soften this area. Here you go. Now also going to soften the edge over here. So give a little bit of feeling of fur and also the, as I say, the hair of the cow on the top over here. I'm gonna have that and coming down, right? Your attention have to keep working, looking at the larger area. Don't look at the small area and say, oh, there's a line over here. You miss, okay. We're not looking at the lines. We're looking at the larger shape, larger turn, like over here. We can have a little bit light going through from here, coming through. And we can have a little, little shape over here, a little bit lighter. I'm gonna lift it up because this area is a little bit light and this a little bit softer. And see this a little bit lighter. Here you go. And going through over here. That's good. Now a little bit soft shape. So after I have the shadow color, it will look great. And okay, I'm gonna have put a little bit gray color up here and let it connect it. That's good, like that. This is great. And that's look very clear. This is good. Now I'm going to looking at this color, very much the right color already. Maybe start still a little bit darker. I'm gonna actually see a little bit yellow and green color over right there. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color here on the face. So you maybe feel like, how can I not see the same color? Okay, be patient, you will. And you just get used to think about yellow, red, and blue. After you get used to think about their three colors, you will see what color in that area. I'm gonna have this a little bit more green, like that. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer and a little bit connected, that's good. And the top actually have a little bit more, a uh, little bit more red. I'm gonna take a little red on the top over here. Here you go, like this. That's very good. And I get all the way come up over here. You see that now applied a little bit more color in the front. That's good. Wow, it's good. And I also use the larger brush and can help to organize the color better. Okay, that's good. All right. And you can see that the whole area at the front, can you see that? They are actually connected together. I'm gonna to have this a little bit lighter, lift it up a little bit. And then getting down over here, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna get a little bit darker color coming down over here, like that. And coming to the side, that's good. Coming over here, a little bit darker. And coming to the bottom. Okay, that's good. Okay. And, and this is still a little wet. This is good. Now what I want to do, I'm going to, when it's still wet, I'm going to have a little bit darker color. Make the blue with the red color. I'm going to have it very dark. Here you go. I'm going to have a little dark color right here. See that? That is just the area. Darker. Okay, one shape. That's another area, darker, one shape. You see that? That's where the, the whole area, darker here. I'm gonna have this even a little bit, a little bit darker, coming up like that. Okay, that's good. You see that the whole turn, already turning over. This is very good. Maybe this is the good time to repaint the nose area. And let's see. I'm gonna take almost the same color like this. And I'm gonna take a look at here and painting the color again and coming outside and and connect with the outside here. That's good, like that. Very well, it's good. And now at the bottom over here, and I'm gonna have a little bit softer at the top here, just the water. I'll lift the color up. 
That's good. Connect that here. Very well. That's good. Okay. Now take a look at the bottom over here. I'm going to have a little bit more, a little bit gray color like that. That's good. Coming over here. That's just great. Now I have a little bit softer. The edge over here, a little bit softer. Just use the tip of this calligraphy brush. You can soften that a little bit. And this is good. We're gonna, and I'm gonna add the screen the eye to find out actually how dark that color would be. It's not that light. And I'm gonna have a little bit blue color. I'm gonna have a little bit blue at the bottom over here. Okay, now I'm gonna one time screen the eye. Keep squinting. I'm gonna, if you try to find out what color is it, how dark that color. Yeah, take a look. And start over here. It's about this dark. You may not think so, but it would be this dark. Okay, that's good. That's the shadow over here. And, okay, that's good. That's dark. And over here, this is talk about the lighter uh, color. And the outside here. That's good, like that. And I'm gonna add this color at the bottom here too. And this is good. Uh huh. And now I feeling that this area need to be lighter, and the lighter area need to come up a little bit more. Like this need to be wider. I'm gonna lift up the shape a little bit. Lift up the shape over here. That's good. Like that. Lift up a little shape. So you see the lifting technique. How useful. And that's good. Okay. Just use simple lifting. Over here, I'm going to have a little bit light shape. Just lift up a little bit shape. That's good. Like that. And I'm going to also lift up a little shape over here. That's already dry now. So now you can see, very easy to lift up the soft light. Okay, very nice. And I also can continue to lift a little bit over here too. So give a little bit texture. Uh, that's good. And I'll come back to that a little bit later. Okay, no worry. We don't have to do everything finish everything at once. Now I'm going to come back here and take a look at the bottom over here. It's still a little bit wet, which is good. I'm going to have a little bit darker. And that's blue and the red color. And you see these two colors together make a beautiful, beautiful dark color. Okay, here we go. And that may be too dark. Okay, compare the color over here and the color in the nose. This is not competing with the nostril, right? I'm going to take a look and get a little bit red. Here you go. I think this color a little bit better. Now, here we go. Now I'm going to start adding this color a little bit darker. Here you go. Like that. This is great. And take a look. And over here. Here we go. A little bit soft. You see that between the two colors, very soft. And the edge over here also a little bit darker too. This is great. And like that. A very soft color. That's good. And now the color get a little bit more. You see this wet into wet. How great is that, right? I'm going to have a little bit yellow. And take a look at the color in here. It's not really that warm. So I add a little yellow. Look at over here. I'm going to start add a little bit sharper. Here you go. That's the shape. And here you go. Coming over here. That's the shape. And I'm going to soften that in a moment. Okay, that's the shape. And also the bottom, bottom over here. Also almost the same color. Okay, that's good. And a little bit thicker. That's good. Now I'm going to I'm open my brush a little bit like a small flat brush feeling. I'm going to have this 
the top over here a little bit softer. You see that? That's beautiful. Transition is so simple. I'm going to have here too. I'm going to have this a little bit coming here like that. And here you go. And keep it, make it feel like, oh, there's some hair, some soft. Okay. Here you go. Coming over here. That's good. Coming over here like that. Okay, that's good. See the transition? So easy, isn't it? Hmm? Okay. Define the location of the eye. So this is pretty easy. Get a little bit blue, and that color is not really that dark. It's kind of dark, but not really that warm. Okay. Think about where it's going to be. Should be here, the corner. That's good. And then take a look and open up a little bit. That's good. There's the eye. That's coming in here. That's good. Okay. There's a little bit round shape. Okay. That's good. I think that's maybe a little bit too small, but I think this is pretty close to what we want. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit brownish color. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna fill in this color for now. I'm gonna add some darker color to make it even look more as an eye. Okay, this is good. First step, I'm gonna take a little bit, just have the tip of the brush and the top over here and here you go okay have a little big line like that this is great a little big double eyelid coming onto this side perfect okay that's good and and I have a little bit this is not really that dark okay sometimes you paint it like a over dark okay not necessary this is that too dark? You need to soften it. Okay, now I have a little bit lighter over here coming over. Here you go, make it a little bit softer in this area. That's good. A little bit, little bit darker over here too. That's very good. I'm going to come back to keep it a little bit darker a little bit later. Okay, yeah. and the lower eyelid. There's need to be. It's just like I have a human eye. There's an eyeball behind. So I want to have this little bit softer coming down, coming up here. That's good. That's good. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. So showing that it's a round shape behind the eyelid. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have this a little bit softer coming up. Okay, that's pretty good already. Okay, the top over there, I'm going to get a little bit brownish color showing over here. Showing there's the two different group and a little bit organized that. And now I'm going to paint it into the two horn. Let's take a look. I'm going to have a little bit yellow and the red. Watch out. That's very important. And actually darker color too. So I'm gonna get a little bit blue color. Get a little bit darker color for now. That's almost like a half of the width. Okay, you see the color, but you're also more important to see the value. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's great. Now dark enough. Now take a look on this side. Okay. And take a look at the shadow side coming up. But the color also change. All right, you see the color change. Okay, that's good. Now going up, have a little bit blue. But it got to be blue, right? It's not yellow, not red, what else? So 
That's just the advantage of having a small pellet. You're not much guessing game. Okay, here you go. I have a little bit blue over here. A little bit darker coming here. Now it's the time for us to paint into the cast the shadow. Now before I do that, I'm going to have a little bit darker color into inside the ear. Here you go. That's yeah, so a little bit darker here. Step by step. Not hard is confidence. Confidence in the process. Okay. And always follow the process from larger to smaller to smaller. Now I'm going to open this up. Take a little bit brownish color. Also a little bit gray. Got a little bit blue here too. Okay, I'm going to open the, the brush here. Okay, I'm going to do this. That's good. Okay, that's good. And seeing nice, nice hair texture. That's good. A little bit softer here. Here you go. A little bit, little bit red. Like a brownish color on this side. Okay, that's good. Have a little bit shape. Seeing a little bit over here. Like that. That's good. All right, the bottom over here, a little bit softer. That's good. Okay, that's good. Now I think we are ready to paint into the cast the shadow. Right, it's all about shape, shape, shape. Okay. Now this is good. Or maybe before then, I'm gonna paint it a little bit into the eye. How about that? It looks like the eye already dry. So I'm gonna get a little bit red with the blue. Now here you go. Get the color very, very rich and deep. Be blue. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look inside the corner over here. here you go. I'm gonna have this line coming also in here. That's good. Take a look at that. The eye over here. Oh, that's good. I can see that a little here on the top. The very thick eyelashes. So inside over here, that would be the Iris, that's good, yeah, beautiful, it look good, and I'm gonna have the corner a little bit darker too, okay, a little bit corner over here, that's already dry, that's good, and I come back to that because it's still a little bit uh, wet, I'm gonna have a little bit soft color on the top over here, here you go. And extend it a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Looks really nice. Turn. Okay. Now I'm gonna work into the other eye. Now also a little bit cooler. Okay, that's here we go. Like that. Here you go. And from here. And a little line like that coming over here. Why is it so wet still? So we have to come back and wait. Okay, that's good. That's the area for the eye. Okay, that's good. Right here. Okay. And also right here. A little bit wet. That's good. Coming over here. All right, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Now let's take a look at the cash the shadow. That's good, have a little bit warmer. I think this is dark color, dark enough. Now I'm gonna take a look at from here. And where's is that from here, coming down. And here you go, like that. And go to the side of the eye. Here you go, I'm gonna get over here down. And here you go, this is a very important shape. Okay, all the way, looking like a straight. Okay, here you go, like that, all the way here. Right, that's just good. A little bit more rounded, so I'm gonna go a little bit in here. All right, now I'm gonna just use this same color and take a look. I'm gonna take a look at it's dark enough. 
this color very much the same value color as the color underneath. Okay, that's good. Look at that. Very cool, huh? Now I'm going to have a little bit more blue color at the top over here. You see a little bit more blue right here. And go to the ear here. Here you go. That's good. That's called the timing uh, for the different effect and edges. And there's a little bit more uh, brown color. Here you go. Like that. Put it on. That's good. A little bit darker. And that's good. Very nice. Now I'm gonna have to come back, come back to the bottom over here. Now I'm gonna connect the color. Connect the color similar to the catch the shadow. Here you go. Like that. It's good coming up over here. Now it's the time to finish this. That's good. Have a little big line coming up this way and take a look at that let's slow the line over here in the middle like that that's great and and take a look now I want to take a look at very deep color in the nostril let me just get the red into this blue color here you go look at that a little bit dark color here you go like that here you go that's good. All right, very nice. Take a look on this side. It's a little bit darker. Get a little bit blue. Okay, here you go. And this a little bit darker. Blue shade. That's good. At the bottom over here, also a little bit darker over here. That's good. All right, look at the nose. Ooh, fabulous. Okay, now I'm gonna come back over here to, hmm, do you know? Don't forget, the horns has not finished yet. I'm gonna have this uh, a little bit more brown, which is a little bit more red. A little bit more red at the bottom. Here we go. Now this, a little bit more red. Coming up here, that's good. And this can be a little bit thicker. Okay, this one a little bit closer. Okay, here you go. As is, this is good. Here you see a little bit more three dimensional. Now I'm gonna at the top over here, I'm gonna have a little bit gray. A little bit gray right here. That's good. And I'm gonna make some very dark color at the top. Now take a look on this side, the same thing, and the shadow side, a little bit blue, a little bit cooler at the tip, that's good, like that, and, and have a little bit darker, a little bit darker, right here, that's good, like that, alright, I'm gonna have some really really deep color so get a little bit blue mix into this it's already dark enough right and i'm going to come here take a look here we go that's good i'm going to make it even darker a little bit darker get a little bit more blue a little bit more red less water here we go like that here we go. That's good. Coming around. That's very, very deep. Like that. Like that. That's good. And the tip over here have some highlight. This is good. Now I'm going to come back over here. It's still a little wet. This is good. And here we go. Okay. The tip over here. A little bit darker. This is great. Now I'm going to come back over here. I think this is already dry. Now I'm going to give some 
suggestion. This is would be the right color. I'm gonna have a little bit more clear anatomy over here. I see that that's coming forward. That's coming over here. Like that, that's good. It's very important to see this. A little bit over here, that's good. Like that. And merge into this side. All right, let's come back to to set the uh, some line, some darker line. Okay, let's see. All right, let's take a look. And this is a very clear. And some one look at it first. Okay, look at one line at a time, and like this, and continue. And I can make it a little bit softer. Uh, here you go. This line, like this. Pay attention. No rush. That's good. A little line over here. A little line over here, like that. Okay, that's good. Like that. It's great. Now I'm gonna have just a little bit lighter color. I just, I'm gonna have this softly extended, coming down. That's good. Like that. Nice. And I'm gonna take a look at other other line. Here you go. That's good. Other line a little bit thinner. And have here. And I take a look. Look at it. Observe the accents. And that's good. Look at how the line turn. Okay couple line over here we already have some suggestions so that's good